Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at yet another example of how to find the Laplace transform of the heavy sign step function. So here we've got the two shifting theorems that we're going to be using, number one and number two, the first shifting theorem and your second shifting theorem. We also have our example, and in this example, we're using a trig function. So you'll see the first thing you need to do is to try and figure out, okay, what is your function f of t made up of? We have a function multiplied by the heavy side step function. That means you can't use the first shifting theorem because that only has the heavy side step function in it. So you'd have to use the second one because that is in the same form a function multiplied by the heavy side step function. Okay. Now the next thing you have to look at is to see if it is in exactly the same form as that second shifting theorem. So do we have t minus a in the heavy side step function and a matching t minus a in the function that is in front of that? side function. So let's see what we've got. We have t minus pi over 2 and do we have t minus pi over 2 in the sine function? So it should be here somewhere. We don't have that which means we can't apply the second shifting theorem immediately. So we have to first convert the sine 3t into a form that we can use. So how do we do that? we are going to have to introduce pi over 2, right? Because then you're going to have t minus pi over 2 in your function somewhere. But if you introduce it like this and you don't do anything else, you're changing the value of that function. So in order to stop that from happening, you have to compensate for the value that you've introduced. And if you look at my function here now, I've got t minus pi over 2. What did I actually introduce? Did I introduce minus pi over 2? No, I didn't. I actually introduced 3 times pi over 2. So I'd have to compensate with 3 pi over 2. u of t minus pi over 2. Now, you might be tempted to ask, but why did you do that? Because you would think that you could just do this. Sine of 3t minus pi over 2 plus pi over 2. You'd ask, why can't I do that? And then have pi over 2 there. The problem we have with this, if you look at what is in this heavy side function here? You need to have t minus pi over 2 in your function in front of the heavy side function. But what do you have? You don't have t minus pi over 2, you have 3t, which is not what you want. So be careful of this mistake here because that is not right. So let's write out what we've got. So we now have that f of t equals sine 3t minus pi over 2, which is the form that we want, 3 pi over 2 times our heavy side step function. But we can't work with this as is. So this is in fact a compound angle. So you can apply the compound angle formula for your trigonometry from trig. So that is going to be sine of 3 times t minus pi over 2 times cos of 3 pi over 2 plus cos 3t minus pi over 2 times sine 3 pi over 2. 
okay and you can find values for cos of 3 pi over 2 because 3 pi over 2 is just 270 degrees so cos of 3 pi over 2 is 0 that will go to 0 and sine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to minus 1 that means your f of t is going to be minus cos 3 t minus pi over 2 times u of t minus pi over 2. Oh, and of course, this entire thing we remember has to be multiplied by the heavy side step function. So that is going to be t minus pi over 2. So that is f of t. So if I now find the Laplace transform of f of t, that is going to equal minus e to the power minus pi over 2 times s times the transform of cos of 3t. Okay? Because the function that is acting on t is cos 3 argument. Okay? Another way to look at it is if I take If I take, I apply the Laplace transform. The pi over 2 is the shift. So once I've dealt with the pi over 2 in this exponent, I can kind of cover it up and see what's left. So what is left is cos of 3t. So then we'll have minus e to the power minus pi s over 2 times s over s squared plus 3 squared. And if I just neaten that up a bit, that is going to be minus e pi s over 2 times s over s squared plus 9. And that is your Laplace transform. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for more examples on the Laplace transform of heavy side step function. See you next time. Bye.